The Real Estate Revolution Radio Show is designed to educate Missoula homeowners and home buyers how to navigate the uncharted waters of the current Western Montana real estate market in an educational, often edgy, and high energy fashion with host Jason Baker. Jason will teach you all the secrets on how to win with real estate, from listing your property to purchasing investments. Jason has you covered. Be sure to check the home of the week, the good news, and current market updates each week. Jason is revolutionizing the real estate experience for over 100 clients a year. Welcome to Real Estate Revolution with Mr. Jason Baker in the studio with us today. And Jason, we want to know what's new in the market this week. You know, it changes by the minute, Casey. I know. It's changing by the minute. Don't blink. Yeah, don't blink. Well, what's new in the market? And, and thank you. I want to thank the, the general public. We had such, we were talking about our home of the week last week. Yeah. We had such an amazing outpouring from from that advertisement that our, our we got overrun. We ran out of cookies at the open house. <laughs> <laughs> and that wasn't just because yeah, I was there. That's right. No. <laughs> well, I kept going in. I put a wig on. Then I went yeah, in. Yeah, I kept, yeah. you know, and Meredith's like, oh, she kind of looked the same. But no. Kind of like going through Costco. Yeah, right? exactly. Right. <laughs> Dude, you could get run over by a grandma down there. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, you could get run so, over. So it was a good showing. It was, it was a really good showing. You know, it was uh, it was one of those things where you know you could only hope this this property on, on Sunday was listed, and this is with all due respect. We're not we're not talking about someone, but you know the show's edgy. The the house was listed for quite a while uh, with another agency, mm-hmm. and we were fortunate enough to through uh, the radio show we got a call from them because they've heard you know heard the uh, you know the advertising that we do with you guys, and they call us up and um, we presented a new marketing plan, presented to do everything. And put it on the market. It was uh, we held showings for uh, four or five days. We had over twenty showings. Um, we had a multitude of uh, multi, you know multi uh, uh, competing offers, mm-hmm. and it drove the price you know way up over asking price, which was amazing. So the seller was really happy. I mean, this is in the dead of winter, right? Yeah. And this is what we were talking about. It's last not what week. you expect. Yeah, it's not what you would expect. Everybody's like, "Yes, does she have a nice lawn? Absolutely. Was there snow all over the lawn? Absolutely. Yeah. Did the house still sell for way over asking price? Absolutely." Absolutely. And it was just a different marketing. It was actually a lot of it. It definitely wasn't my picture on the sign because I won't put it on the sign because I want <laughs> it to have an opportunity to sell. Right. You know, I, I don't want to detract from the It'll property. Scare people yeah, away. I don't want to scare people away. Right. You know what I'm saying? So uh, but it's, it's one of those things where we, when we, we it was a combination of the marketing, but really it had a lot to do with the timing. You know, the photography, the videography, all of that, online marketing, but it was a timing. That's it's, all part of the trade, it, though. It's, it's, it is part of it. And this particular client had already had another house that they were already in, so that was really, really... Oh, so it was, really, it was empty? Uh, it was, yeah, yeah. It was a vacant property, which really helped them. Yeah. But the reason why we didn't put it on three or four months ago is because they were in the process of moving out. So they were in a really good situation, which we'll talk about later. I mean, the topic of today's show is, how the heck do we sell a house... And then move, you know, how do we how do we sell a house and buy a house all at the same time? And that's what we're going to talk about, you know, after the first break. But that that is a really uh, that was a re- you know, we are really grateful for that. Um, but here's what's going on in Missoula County. All right. There's only 63 single family homes. Now, remember, last week I said that includes Sealy Lake. That's right? an extremely low number. It's an it's an extremely low number. S- 63. And then in Missoula, 33. What's it normally? So like what would be an average? When when we were before this COVID in the before times, as I yeah, call the before it. times, yeah, that's a BT, <laughs> yeah, that's right. So so before that, there was there was probably three, you know, at the peak of the market, three hundred to three hundred fifty homes, maybe right now two fifty to three hundred at this time, county wide, yeah, at right this time, now, yeah. Okay. When we carried over January first hit, boom, yeah. everybody's hung over, you know, <laughs> you know, they it, it hit, you know, two fifty to three hundred could get up as high as four hundred, maybe four and a quarter in a normal market, sixty three in the entire county, brother, sixty three, right, thirty three in Missoula. So can you and in 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 seven or eight of those aren't even built yet. So really, I mean, you're wow. talking about 25 homes that could be actually purchased right now. Yeah. And of course, most of them are over 500,000. Um, now, the, in the last 12 months, I pulled this for people too, because everyone's like, well, how much has my house appreciated? So, you know, in a nor- the last time it was a normal market, the average prices were 300 to 330 somewhere in there. And now the average sale price of the, the mean sale price over the last 12 months is 494,000 with 51 days on market. That's it. And it's really short. Buddy, well, compared to normal, I mean, you used to see days on market in the 120, 150 yeah, range, you yeah. know, because that's across all price ranges. Of course, something two, three million in Missoula is going to take longer than something that's 300, right? Yeah. Yeah. And now you can't even, I don't think you could buy a single wide trailer in Missoula for 300. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ravalli County, where we do a bunch of our business, if not more than half, 94 single family homes, 
Look at that, 31 more than Missoula in Ravelli County with a third the population. Interesting. Go figure. Yeah. Yeah, crazy. So 28 homes in Hamilton, that's crazy low. And the mean sale price, it's basically the same. It's only, it's $1,000 higher in the in Ravelli County and the days on market are 59 versus 51. So well, yeah. Fairly so, close. Yeah. So that's what's going on. I mean, it's, it's, it's low inventory and there's hundreds of sellers out there right now that are wondering... Um, that would put their house on the market, Casey. They would they would do it. We have, you know, we probably have 15 or 20 that would put their if they knew for sure they could go into the next home. Now, we've gone over what we're going to go over in the show with them, and they've still, they're, they're quite analytical, and so they're, um, you know, not choosing to put their home on the market. But if we have that many, think how many are actually out there. So my hope is we can quell some of those fears, yeah. and we can show them how to net the most amount of money and stay in the home till they absolutely find that next place. Clint, we're going to be covering that right after this quick commercial break. We'll be back more Real Estate Revolution Radio right after this. Hey, your friend Sean Hannity here with some personal advice for home sellers. Now, there are various companies or agents that will offer to give you cash up front for your home, but be careful. Now, often there are dramatically lower prices or hidden fees that the average person can miss, and that can cost you a lot of money. That's why I prefer to work with a great, smart real estate agent that truly knows the local market and can give me the best advice and put the most money in my pocket. I'm talking about Jason Baker of Rise Realty, Montana. Now, Jason can give you an instant cash offer or with his accelerated demand program, well, he turns up the marketing and gets you the most money for your home. But more importantly, he can help you look at all the options with hundreds of potential buyers, and that creates demand for your home and helps your home sell at a price and deadline that you agree to or he buys it. Don't leave money on the table. Talk to the only agent in town I recommend. Call Jason at 552-4443. Online, jasonbakerteam.com. That's jasonbakerteam.com. <laughs> From listing your property to purchasing investments, Jason Baker has got you covered. Time for more of the Real Estate Revolution Show. All right, welcome back to more Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. And Jason, I got to tell you, I've I've been interested in possibly selling my home, mm -hmm. but I'm so scared. You're so scared. I'm scared. I just want someone to hold my hand. I, I would, but the know. microphone won't. It, it can't reach you over there. I'd come give you a big old uh, hug, man. Let me you know. know. Everything's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Jason, it why is. am I so scared? My, my, my reason for being so scared is I know that my house is appreciated in value. Yeah. Uh, and that I got, uh, I got a, a good chunk of change yeah. sitting on it if I do yeah. sell. Right. Where am I going to go? Yeah. The thing is, is that, and I joke around with everybody, and I know I said this last week, but nobody wants to live under a bridge. No. You know? And nobody wants to move. And so if, so if you're selling and you want to buy, you're like, okay, Jason, it'd be super easy to sell my house. That might be so, but did we sell it the right way? Yeah. Right? Do we sell it for the most amount of money? Do we make the right choices and, and everything else? But how do we get into something and, and it just move from one right into the other? And we're going to cover that in depth. I know you're, it's something that's you know, kind of been preventing you from wanting to do it. With the inventory so low, sellers are not selling or a lot of sellers are not selling because they just don't think they're going to be able to find the next place. So we're going to get right into it. So the, the first thing I believe, anything in life, whether it's selling a home, buying a home, starting a new job, getting a new job, being an entrepreneur, is to be of the mindset that it actually can happen. Mm -hmm. You have to open up the possibility that it, that it can happen. Yeah. Um, it's, it's easy for me to say uh, or in, in, in that 100 percent of the time, if we've got someone's house under contract, so we listed it, they trusted us, mm -hmm. which has happened so many times, listed it, put it on the market and actually got an offer 100 percent of the time. We have got them into a house that works for them. No one under a bridge, no one in a rental, unless they wanted to. There's some people who just say, I want to rent for six months, 12 months, let it cool down, yeah. you know, buy lower, go, this go kind of thing. Go live in my folks' basement. Yeah, right that's now. exactly right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But there's a lot of people that, that, that don't mind that rental. But whatever their goal was, we met it. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's yeah. a good track record. Yeah, it is a good track record. But how? Well, I can't do it by myself because mm -hmm. we have four agents that can, let's say I'm here with you. Yeah. Someone calls and wants to go see a property. We have four agents at the office right now that can run out there and show the property. So if I'm sitting here with you and another client calls one of my sellers and says, Jason, I want to go see that. I'm like, I text him. I'm with Casey right now. He, he won't let me leave. He's got me locked in here. And, you know, but my team or my wife or someone just run over and show him that property right now because we're mobile, yeah, right? You know, yeah. like that, that's the beautiful thing about the team. God, if I try to do it all, I'd be in trouble. There's only so much Jason to go around. Yeah, there is so much. There's a lot to go around. But anyway, yeah. So the, so the second thing, 
some people can do if they've had their house for a long time or their house is appreciated so much, they have a ton of equity or they don't owe anything on it at all. They can do something called the bridge loan. So they go down to their local banker, handshake and say, look, uh, my house is worth 600,000. I don't owe anything on it. I'm thinking about downsizing. The house is only 450. The range we're looking in. Can I do a loan for 450 on my 600? I don't owe anything. So now they can walk into the next deal and pay cash. Cool. Yeah. So they and, and then the, the beautiful thing about that is they can buy that house. There's no contingencies on that purchase right there, mm-hmm. and they and they don't have to like that. That's what we did when we bought our farm. Like you don't ha- we they, we didn't have to move out. Like we we slowly move stuff from one to the other. Yeah. And it's really a controlled way. Not everybody can do that, but it's really one of the best ways if you can do that to do that. Yeah. Yeah. That's one way. Um. The this the really the third way or the third point is see if you can get a loan for the new home without selling your old home. I don't, I don't do math. You don't? Neither do I. <laughs> Hold on. Do you, <laughs> it sounds like right, a math I gotta, thing. I got to Google it. Wait no, a minute. no, just kidding. No. Wait so, a minute. so in other words, so you stay you stay in your house and you know for in your your example like you're st- like in Stevensville or whatever it is, okay? Yeah. And the house you want to buy is in Hamilton. Okay. Okay. Just go make an get a get a pre approval from your lender. And just go make an offer yeah. on the one down there, and don't yeah. make it contingent on the sale of the Stevensville home. Just okay. go, just, just go buy. Just show yeah. up an offer. Yep. Yeah. So you're going to have two mortgage payments for a minute. Yeah. But actually, your first mortgage payment's usually not due for 45 to 60 days anyway. So usually you can sell, and there's just the one. Got it. No problem. Okay. So then that way, that's that's another way you can do it. But now we're going to start talking about ways that you just go from one to the other. You're not carrying two. You're not doing any home equity line of credit or anything like that. So um, I I always thought that was the way it had to be. Yeah. So most people think they absolutely have to sell this house with rate, even though rates have gone up a point and a quarter to a point and a half in the last 30 days, three or four weeks, they're still historically super low. Okay. For now. I don't, yeah, I don't know what this, you know, this uh, wonderful inflation we're all experiencing is going to equate to, uh, but uh, nobody ever said inflation and low rates in the same sentence except for me, just right there. You just did. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I'm the only one ever. So, <laughs> <laughs> so, but the fact is, is that you could find, uh, you could find a buyer to close ASAP right now. So put your house on the market, sell it while they're still fighting over homes. Mm-hmm. Okay, like you know, beating each other up in the front yard. I always say. <laughs> um, who will let you stay? And we touched on this a little bit last week, but there's some new listeners this week, and so we don't want them to miss this important point. Okay, as boring as it might be, we don't want them to miss it. Who, you need to find a buyer who will let you stay in your home until you find something else. And that's not uncommon. It's not. So we probably have 10, 11, 12 clients right now in the house yeah. that they sold. It's already closed, mm-hmm. and they're sitting there. Because my wife doesn't like it when I say setting there. I think Set, that's setting. a Montana thing, yeah. So, uh, but <laughs> you know, while they're sitting there, I know that's right. There's all sorts of terms I've learned. I, I moved here in 97. But anyways, the uh, no gray hair, uh, what was it, 80 pounds ago? Yes. So, but anyways, but the fact of the matter is um, that the buyers, because there's such limited inventory, are going to let you stay there. Yeah. And if they don't, you simply don't take their offer. You make it very clear to them at the very beginning. This is what we're after. How uh, the, the buyer's agents ask me, I'm, I'm primarily a listing agent. My team works with most of the buyers. They always ask me, one of the questions is, what does it take? You know, what does your seller want to see in an offer? Okay. Good. So, you know, in, in what I, I listen to my sellers, what their wants and needs are. And if they say, Jason, one of my things is I've got to stay till I find my next place or I need six months to either find a new place or find a rental if that's what they want. Mm-hmm. I, ju- I just have to make that known up front. And then nobody gets blindsided by that. Like the buyer's not mad. They already knew that. They yeah, saw it's not something right that shows there. up yeah. on closing day. Yeah. It's just like, oh, come look at my house. Oh, but then we're going to give you all these, uh, you know, yeah. all, all these uh, conditions, right? So you find a buyer. So we have 10, 11, 12 people doing that right now. And never again, never has that not had never have we not found them something else, but contractually you can stay there. Mm -hmm. So we had an example down in, and again, I went over this last week, but again, important. We had an example. One of the greatest ones is they, they literally closed on their home, got the money, made an offer on a piece of land, built the home. It's still not done. They're still not living in it, but they're still living in their house. Mm -hmm. I think it's been nine months, maybe 10 months now. Oh, wow. Okay, that's what you can do as a seller right now. Sell high, stay. All right, moving on. Get that. Any questions on that? Since you go through the same thing, is is it, are you you're double mortgaging though, or no? No, no. You've actually sold your home. There's no more mortgage. Okay, but you might have to pay them rent. Well, 
Yeah. That makes sense. But you don't have to move. And that doesn't suck. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> that yeah, that suck. doesn't sound exactly weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that does not that does not suck, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that, not at all. It's it's actually a really good thing. And because it's like, you know the house, and some people are like, well, I'm weird, I'll be paying rent, it's not really my house. Well, you know, there's protections in place, there's still insurance on the house, there, you're still paying the utilities, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. You, you almost don't know, except you have a whole lot of, lot of cash set in there yeah. that you made, you know, when you went and sold your house, okay? So just find a willing buyer, the, the more limited the inventory, the easier that is to do. And because because the inventory is the reason why you're going to find more people that are willing to do that. Sellers are buyers. in control right now. But, you know, next week, we're going to go over how to get your offer approved. That's going to be a really good one. Okay. 21 ways to get your offer approved in today's market. Yeah. We'll probably get through me and knowing me and you will probably get through four points, you know, because we'll be talking and having fun, you know, God forbid. We only got a half an hour. We only have a half an hour. I know. I have to move this to what uh, Teresa's gonna be mad when we make it an hour and a half. We'll just put it in there. So next thing. Um, in the in the contract, in the actual listing contract, in order to protect people, they're like, oh, Jason, you're a salesperson. Uh, you know, I, I, I don't, you know. Okay, we write in the actual listing contract, it's subject to the seller finding suitable housing. Yeah. So it's written there in black and white. Mm-hmm. Or if you use a blue pen, it's in blue. You know, okay. So anyways, terrible joke. I, that, I told you I to give me a courtesy that, chuckle last week. proper? Yeah, it's proper, yeah. You don't use blue pen? That's right, yeah. It's, yeah, courtesy chuckle, buddy. <laughs> so, but but anyway, we use, it's not, we definitely don't use a blue pen very much. But that all being said, you write it in there. What does that mean? If you can't find a place and you haven't closed yet, you can back out of that contract with no ramification from the buyer. At the end of the six months or whatever. Yeah. like So so if it's a 90-day closing and you don't find a house, the contract is null and void. Okay. Now, if you close and get your money and you've said you're going to move out in six months, you're going to have to. Six months. Yeah. yeah. You're going to have, whatever that contract says is what you're going to have to do. Yeah. Yeah. So that's where the communication between me and my seller is super important. You know, that's just that, that crystal clear communication, right? Um, and that's that's a real important thing. Is that subject to the self finding suitable housing that gets you out? That legally, that's a very uh, that's something that just must simply must be there. Mm-hmm. We also put that in the MLS so that the incoming buyers and buyers agents understand what this is. Again, we're not blindsiding anyone. They willingly go look at the house knowing this, which is great. Yeah, yeah. My my concern is even with my equity going up. Uh, Am I going to am I basically making a lateral move, though? Because yeah. everything else has gone. Everyone else's equity has gone up as well. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, that's a great question. So I think to paraphrase that, I think what you're saying is, am I, am I selling high and buying high? Yeah. Yeah. And then the question, the, the answer right now is probably yes. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. So when people are moving, if you're going to be moving from one house to another and not renting and not moving out of state, nothing's forcing you to move other than bigger pantry, more food. Yeah. Bigger another kid. freezer for the steer that we <laughs> right. took care of this morning. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you know, another freezer, like there's some need, you know, you had five more kids, you know what I'm da- saying? Daddy wants a shop. Yeah. Daddy yeah. wants a shop. Where I are we going to hang all the bows? Where are we going to shoot? I mean, I we want to shoot inside the shop. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah, right. Exactly. So if there's a, there's a real good reason, then yes, doing that. But, you know, uh, should you just go out to take advantage of the equity yeah, if you're just going to go put it into something else? Well, if you believe that the house you're buying is going to increase in value faster than yours, I think it's a wise investment. If it suits your needs more, I think it's a wise investment. Yeah. If you're happier there, I think it's a wise investment. If you're just doing it out of panic or just for no real reason, I don't think it's wise. Got it. Yeah. So there has to be a real reason why. Usually yeah. it's upsizing or downsizing. Well, there's also the fear of missing out. There's also the in-laws. Sometimes they live close by and you want to, you know what I'm saying? You <laughs> I want need to like, get further away. Yeah, you want to get further away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, I'm saying my fear of missing out being yeah. in my fear of, yeah. of, of what if property values start to go yeah. down. Here, here's another angle to that, though, that we, we should think of. If, if you're going to be... What, is the payment on a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar home less than a five hundred thousand dollar home? Yeah, yeah. In, I, in every sense, I told of the word, you right? I don't do math. <laughs> I, I don't either. I had to think about that. No. <laughs> yeah, me too. Yeah, good. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, there's smoke. The fire alarm is about to go off. Yeah. Carry the three. <laughs> yeah. Where do you move the decimal yeah, point? Oh man, I don't know how many times I use a calculator on my phone every day, but the uh, a lot, a lot more than I like to admit. But the fact is, is that the interest rate. Even so, since the payment's higher on something that's more, we have to be more rate conscious the higher the balance of the loan that we take out. So, with these ever increasing interest rates, right, they've gone up a point and a quarter. I'm not a lender, but they've gone up a point and a quarter, point and a half, disclaimer. Uh, You know, it's one of those things where if you try to get a 
Um, I think on a five, I think I did it the other day, and we're going to talk more about mortgages and stuff down the road. But on a five hundred thousand dollar house, approximately for one percentage point, approximately three hundred two hundred eighty to three hundred dollars extra a month. So if you're buying something that's five hundred thousand dollars, and the interest rates go up another point point and a half. You could be six, seven, eight hundred dollars more than you were bucks. a month ago. Yeah, a couple hundred yeah, bucks a couple more than, you bucks, yeah, than, than today. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Yep. Well, right. Keep going down this list. How are we doing on time? We good? You got time? I do. Gosh, I know. Holy cow. All right, everybody, take another sip of coffee. We're trying not to bore you to death here. So <laughs> um sell high. So it, by 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 a closing now, there's very limited inventories we've talked about, but you can you can sell very high now, stay in that house, and then there's gonna be more to choose from you know, in two or three months where I'm trying, last week we talked all about why not to wait two or three months to sell, but it, sh- it, it would be a good idea to sell- to wait two or three months if you can't find something right now. Okay. To yeah. buy. Right. Other than that interest rate, we still have to be very conscious. We need to watch these rates daily yeah. for people. Yeah. Um, another point I wrote down is make sure when you're going to buy that new home, there's very few contingencies. So what would be smart for you, uh, Casey, is if you're going to s- you, you sell your house, and then it's just done. When you go to buy that other house, there could be like on the, the our property up in Sealy, which everybody says, you're never going to sell something in the middle of winter at Sealy Lake, when I call Sealy Lake. Mm. The, the lot that we talked about property the last week, last week on yeah. Grayling, yeah. I think had three offers, over asking price, middle of the winter, Sealy Lake land. Snow on the ground. Don't tell me listing right now. Yeah. If that's not an example of why you list right now, then I, I, I can't think of a better one. Okay. Again, that's another sign my picture was not on, by the way. Okay. My very best marketing plan is don't put my picture on anything. Okay. But um, you want to make sure you have very few contingencies. What I mean by that is if you go to make an offer and there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 25 offers on this property, the one you're trying to buy, Casey, Yeah. and you have a house to sell, it ain't on the market yet, isn't on the market yet, okay? And it isn't under contract yet. And you just basically say, I want to go buy a house, but I, I'm going to make the seller wait till I sell mine. And yeah. you have this big anchor for that seller. That seller's got 20 other offers to choose from. Yeah, who are they going to go with? Why are they going to choose that offer? Yeah. In every sense of the word, if I was a listing agent, like I tell the agents, I can't, it's up to the seller what offer they want to take. But I can't ethically, in my opinion sit there and recommend that they take an offer with a contingency if there's all of these other ones without. Without, yeah. It's another layer of the onion. It's a, it's a layer of risk. We simply can't recommend it. That's another thing that keeps me awake at night. <laughs> <laughs> it could be the coffee. But that too. Yeah, or the monster energy drink at 11.30 p.m. It's never good. Yeah. Well, um, I yeah. think we got we to gotta wrap this segment up. Yeah, and we're going right. to be going to our featured property here in just a few minutes. you got a couple more, right? Yeah, we got one to talk about. And then we're going to talk about some amazing opportunities. Ooh, all right. Well, it's all coming up right after a quick commercial break. You're listening to Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. Hey, if you are in the market to make the most money for your home, Sean Hannity here with some important advice. Now, look, I'm an active investor. I have bought and sold a lot of properties in hot, cold, moderate markets. And one of the lessons I have learned is this. Hire the agent that knows how to create the most demand for your home. Now, if I needed to create demand in this market, no question, there's only one real estate agent I trust if I needed to sell my home. I'm talking about Jason Baker of Rise Realty, Montana. Now, Jason can give you an instant cash offer or with his accelerated demand program, well, he turns up the marketing and gets you the most money for your home. While the average agent sells a home or two every month and only spends a couple of hundred bucks on marketing a year, Jason spends thousands of dollars every month to attract thousands of buyers. Now, that helps you generate multiple offers and sell your home for the most money possible. Now, anyone can give you a home evaluation. Call the agent that creates the most demand. Call Jason at 552-4443. Online, jasonbakerteam.com. That's jasonbakerteam.com. From listing your property to purchasing investments, Jason Baker has got you covered. Time for more of the Real Estate Revolution Show. Welcome back to Real Estate Revolution Radio with Jason Baker. And Jason, what is this week's featured property? Oh, I forgot my my uh, I forgot my uh, list. No, I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> Where is it? I know you guys would let me forget it. No. So the property. Oh, and t- real quick, two more things. Get uh, uh, on how to get your if you're buying and selling. Uh, get your ducks in a row. Have your pre approval ready. Real quick, I forgot to mention. This oh, from the break. last thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. My bad, my bad. And then also work with the winning team because there's so many of us. We can just run it. You got to be mobile. I mean, you got to be ready to go. Look like right away, right? Okay. As far as the pre approvals, it's yep. a great time of year to do that with yeah. the tax season and everything. You have everything all in one basket. 
right there sitting there. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. You're already going to have that paperwork ready absolutely. to go. So. Absolutely. I also wanted to t- remind everybody, Valentine's Day is tomorrow, so get your flowers. Don't forget. <laughs> Divorce attorneys hate when I make that comment. <laughs> yeah, they do. All right. Property of the week. Property of the week. Here we go. Focus, focus. Uh, 11480 O'Keefe Creek Boulevard. Okay. Up at the Y. Yeah. Uh, it's a building lot. Perks done. Well-placement spot's been picked out. It's ready to build on uh, 159900 It's two acres. Views. You know, great homes in the area. It's 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 a great lot. It's one of the best lots out there. So go, I think it's actually the best lot out there. So we want to have people drive by that. And if they're thinking about building, have a look there. Also, and I, I don't talk about this enough. We have... Um, some of the needs that we have on our team, obviously, we have buyers looking in every single price range and where obviously the supply is very low. So if you've considered selling your house, please let us know. But we also we're hiring for a few positions. We're looking for a recruiter or someone to be on the phone and someone to be on the phone calling agents and also calling around looking for properties to sell. So if you're good on the phone and you're, you know, you're aggressive and you want to call around and you want to help people live a better life, a bigger life. Uh, I'd love to talk to you there. I was uh, a telemarketer for a couple of you years. You were a telemarketer. I'm a telemarketer every morning. Do you know what I, I do from to, 830? I used to butcher last names. Oh, uh, it's so good. That's why you don't say it. You say ma'am. Uh, can I speak to Mr. Smythe? Unless I have a really deep voice, you don't say Mr. Mr. Yeah. Smythe? Yeah, that's exactly it's right. Smith. It's Smith, buddy. <laughs> it's Smith, buddy. But it's one of those things. I, you know, every morning from 8.30 to 11.30, I'm looking for buyers for my sellers and sellers for my buyers. I'm a telemarketer from 8.30 to uh, 11.30 every day. So just so you know. Can I interest you in the burpee seed catalog? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> it's publishers. All right. So, but anyway, all right. But we're looking, f- and then we're looking for agents, either agents that are uh, currently in the market. Like, if I was to start in real estate right now, I would be like in a forest looking up at the trees and I wouldn't have a clue where to go. Right. So when you join a team, people say, what's the difference between a team and a brokerage or why would I join a team? Well, first of all, we use the Place platform and Place has just got a hundred million dollar uh, funding round and it's been valued at a billion. And what's that, what that's designed to do is be a system for success for agents, whether they're brand new or in the business. Um, our first year agents and uh uh, Meredith got into the business, and she hates when I talk about this, but I, you know, kudos to her, and I'm very proud of her. Um, sold 23 homes in her first full year in real estate. Wow! And took home over 125 thousand dollars. Amazing. Yeah, but first it's not year. about the money. But for her and for us, it's we help 23 families increase their wealth. That's excellent. Yeah, and that that because that's a huge asset. But we're looking for agents that want systems that work. We're looking for people who are hungry, people who know a lot of people in the community. That really helps them get a jump start in their business. We have all the systems. We handle all of the overhead. We let you focus on selling versus all of the administrative tasks. We handle all of that. We have a system in a box. We also are the only real estate brokerage to have full-blown health insurance Wow! for agents. Yep, once they hit a certain volume, which isn't a lot. And then we also... Um, we also give 500 leads to new, for people to call through so they can have a fast start. And we also provide 50 to 100 leads on a monthly basis, as well as amazing mentoring, great culture, and everything else. So we got the support of the whole team. The whole support. We're just a family. Yeah. So we want good people in our family. So if that's something that you know, you've thought about doing, just call me. Please. We'd love to talk to you. That sounds great. Great opportunity for you to, to possibly uh, get in, you know, to a new career. It, it's a great career, and it's it's the only career where I know where I don't have a college degree. And I, you know, I can't tell you the. Um, there's been a lot of ups and downs, but we have our system figured out. And you know, we've gone through, we've taken all the punches so that people can sit down and use a system that we've learned how to use and, and implement locally, and they can just sit down and just start living a, a great life. But the, but first of all, it's mindset and it's work ethic because we can have all the systems in the world if someone won't work, right? Yeah. yeah. And what, what were the positions again? So we're looking for a recruiter and a prospector, someone to be on the phone looking for sellers and looking for agents to join the brokerage because mm-hmm. we're looking for nine Navy SEALs. That's what we say. Right. Okay. Yeah. We're looking for nine agents. Create the SEAL team. Yep. Exactly. And we're going to train them how to do that. Train them how to shoot. Right. Okay. And then, um, and then we're looking for agents, either existing agents that want to double, triple, quadruple their business using great systems and take home more money, Mm -hmm. okay, and help more families, or you know, people that know a lot of people in the community that would like to start getting into real estate. It's very difficult to get into real estate if you only know five people. Yeah, you know, so yeah, that's really would it be better to call you or shoot you a resume or what? Throw something at me, yeah, yeah, Yeah. put me out of my misery. Can I put something down on like a napkin? Yeah, put it on a napkin, slide it under the table. Yeah. (laughs) So the best thing to do is for someone to always just 
just call my cell phone, which is 552, obviously area code 406. We only have one of those, 552-4443. Also on our website, www.jasonbakerteam.com, it says careers up in the top right corner. You can just click that button and fill that form out, and it'll come right to me. Easy enough. Great opportunity. Yeah, it's a great opportunity. Now, before we go one more time, uh, what was that featured property? The featured property is 11480 O'Keefe Creek Boulevard. It's two acres. It's a building lot. Perk test is done. Well placement spot. You get the, Where you can put the well is already figured out and ready to go. Excellent. Always yeah. good times. Jason, thank you so much for coming along with us this week. Yeah. And we'll see you next Sunday. Appreciate you, buddy. It's Real Estate Revolution with Jason Baker on News Talk KGVO.